So 2023 quickly coming to a close. All eyes are on 2024 with upcoming video game releases. Recently on the channel, we talked about Nintendo Switch games coming in 2024. And since I'm not a Nintendo YouTuber and I am the king of PlayStation YouTube, we have to talk about the PlayStation 5 games coming out. Some of these games have confirmed release dates. Some of these are a bit of speculation, but there's definitely enough stuff to go around. So if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Hit the bell as well. Leave a dislike mean comment i don't care interact with the video in some way but without any further ado let's talk about the playstation 5 games of 2024 we're going to start things off with a franchise it's been rebooted a couple times it's a franchise that i like though and that is alone in the dark now alone in the dark is coming out on january 16th originally this was supposed to be a 2023 release but there was too much stuff coming out so they pushed it to january 16th I like what I've seen from this game so far. You know, it, it takes it back to a more classic style of Alone in the Dark as far as the setting is concerned. Not really a modern sort of style. The gameplay itself looks pretty fun. You know, it's a game that I think might surprise a lot of people. It really comes down to the storytelling of the game. Alone in the Dark games are usually kind of all over the place when it comes to storytelling. But I feel like this reboot can maybe make a more clear and concise vision survival horror stuff is always a fun thing for me to play so i'm looking forward to it alone in the dark kicking things off on january 16th all right so before we get into the next and probably most controversial game on this list i need to give a huge thank you to today's video sponsor backbone you didn't buy one yet did you you did not buy a backbone yet buy this thing now if you own a playstation 5 and a cell phone which you probably do don't want to deal with the PlayStation Portal and its high price point, then you need to pick up a Backbone because this thing has literally changed the amount of PlayStation 5 games I play. It's super easy to set up. You simply clip your phone into the Backbone device and everything just works. All the buttons are already set up for you. It's at an optimal display level as well. And it's just a great way to play your PlayStation 5 games without having to use your TV. You could sit back and watch a movie or put on a basketball game like I commonly do. And then and head into the ring with Sting and beat him up as Hulk Hogan like it's 1997 again. Backbone is a great way to play your PlayStation 5 games. It's a fraction of the price of the PlayStation Portal, so check out the link in the description box down below to get your Backbone today, and a huge thank you to Backbone for sponsoring today's video. Then on January 19th, we have probably the most controversial game on this list, and that is The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. Now, I loved the gameplay in The Last of Us 2. I loved it. I thought the gameplay was awesome. The story did not hit with me because I'm a very vengeful person in real life. And, you know, whatever. It, the story is what it is. No spoilers for the people that haven't played it. But this is an enhanced version of a game that's already been enhanced. Now, if you own The Last of Us Part 2 already, you can get the upgrade for $10. There's a new roguelike mode into it. Enhanced visuals faster loading time there's some cut content that's now being included in the game as well it doesn't seem like like a bad thing is it a necessary thing that's kind of a conversation for another day but at least this isn't a game that got like super hyped up there's a super long wait window with it or anything like that it's pretty much coming out you know three months after it was announced so the last of us part two remastered january 19th Personally, unless that roguelike mode is really just very interesting, I probably won't be checking this out, but maybe you will. January 26th, we have Tekken 8, the Tekken franchise returns, and I'm honestly kind of glad that this got delayed until 2024 because of the fact that we had a brand new Street Fighter and we had a brand new Mortal Kombat this in 2023. Now, it would have been nice to have Tekken come out, you know, and have all three of arguably the biggest fighting franchises release a new entry in the same year, but I feel like people might have missed out on this game if it did come out in 2023 everything we've seen so far from this game looks really good the fighting looks really tight the graphics look absolutely amazing i think this is going to be a really fun game i'm definitely very casual when it comes to the tekken franchise but i might end up checking this out on uh, january 26 when it releases for the playstation 5 
February 8th, we have a game that I really don't have any interest in, but people seem to be hyped about it, so, you know, we'll talk about it. And that, of course, is Helldivers 2. Now, this is a budget title, PS5 console exclusive, and it's like, you know, it's one of these alien-based games where you team up with friends and you go and shoot and blow up the aliens. It looks kind of like mindless fun. But for me, this isn't a game that I really want to put any money into. Like, I don't want to buy this. If this was on PlayStation Plus, then sure, I would check it out with some friends and play this game online. But for me, I don't know, man. I don't know. It, like, it, it kind of reminds me a bit of Earth Defense Force. But Earth Defense Force is what it is because it's very tongue-in-cheek. Whereas this is trying to be very serious. So I don't know. Maybe the Hell Divers community can tell me more so about this game. I never played Hell Divers one, and I don't really plan on playing Hell Divers two when it comes out on February eighth. But hey, you know, we'll add it to the list regardless. February 29th, we have Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Square Enix, really Square Enix and Insomniac are holding that PlayStation 5 exclusive banner up higher than any other company is, which is crazy because. Where Enix is, of course, a third-party company. But Final Fantasy VII Rebirth looks absolutely awesome. You know, Final Fantasy VII Remake was a great game. But it was also kind of limited in scope and what you actually got to experience storyline-wise. You never really got outside of the city or anything. That's kind of where that game ended. So to now finally be able to go outside the city and do all those fun side quests and do all the exploration that this game is going to offer... I think that's going to be just absolutely fantastic. It looks like it looks like a, a real sort of jump from Final Fantasy VII Remake as far as like the size and the scope and what you can do and the environments and the new characters that will be a part of your party. Of course, the timeline has been kind of skewed now and we got to figure out why Zack is now playing a prominent role in this game. So I think this game is going to be one of the best games of 2024. I loved the combat in Final Fantasy VII Remake. So to have that sort of enhanced as well, I think is going to be a huge win for this game. Definitely one of the biggest games of 2024 and it's coming out early it comes out february 29th i guess next year's a leap year and i didn't even realize it so why not release the game on a leap year a game that actually just got a release date is dragon's dogma 2 coming out on march 22nd 2024 i kind of like the dragon's dogma franchise but it reminds me a bit of an elder scrolls with a more action orientated gameplay style the first game was actually really fun you could like scale these dragons and stuff and like kill them tons of exploration and this game just kind of really ramps everything up you got to remember the original dragon's dogma came back came out on the ps3 xbox 360 era so i feel like this game is going to be a somewhat generational leap for this franchise we've gotten some trailers for the game the pawn system is still in it as well and it looks to be a bit more enhanced i'm really looking forward to this game man i think this game is going to be super fun i think it's going to surprise a lot of people who aren't super familiar with the first title which you should be you can pick it up for damn cheap on pretty much every platform nowadays so dragon dogma 2 march 22nd and now we're getting into the games that are potentially coming in 2024 many people think they are it will just kind of have to wait and see stellar blade is a 2024 release i feel like that's pretty much a concrete sort of thing i think it looks really good you got space exploration and combat in the sci-fi setting an attractive lead character their storytelling and you know all that sort of stuff I think this game looks pretty cool. It's going to come down for me personally, down to the gameplay. It reminds me a lot of that Devil May Cry, Bayonetta style of gameplay, which is always a welcome game. So a really polished looking action adventure game. It is a bit of a shame that it got delayed out of 2023 into 2024, but maybe this game will have a bit more of a chance to shine in 2024. The next game coming out in 2024 is Rise of the Ronin. It's basically, you know, that feudal Japan style of game sword play strategic battles some stealth stuff samurai warfare i'm sure it'll be a pretty fun game and you know ninja stuff is always cool i've been playing ninja stuff well, really since ninja turtles but as far as like traditional ninja stuff is concerned since like tenshu now i think this game is going to be a lot of fun i think this game looks very very polished from where we've seen it i just hope there's not kind of 
a you know a bit of fatigue because of games like this you know with games like ghost of tsushima and Sekiro. like there's been a kind of resurgence of these style of games so it'll be interesting to see how it does a good job of differentiating itself from those games but i think it will this game is scheduled for 2024 so keep that on your calendar and of course we've got to talk about Hideo kojima and death stranding 2. now is this game going to be a 2024 game eh. I'm not quite sure this game and another game that we'll talk about in just a little bit i feel like these games have the least amount of of chance coming out in 2024 but i am also expecting this game to be at the game awards in some sort of capacity now death stranding the original game that kind of lost me on the gameplay i could do hideo's crazy stories take jeff Keeley out of the game please it's really weird but like the gameplay i just never got into it I, and it's crazy because i played that game for over 15 hours and at some point i was like you know what this is not for me so i hope i hope it's kind of like that director cut additional content that they added into the game as far as the gameplay is concerned because i feel like kojima does you know good combat and good stealth sort of stuff if he wants to do it i'm sure the story will be batshit crazy instead of peeing on things he'll be pooping on things but that stranding 2 looks like it could be a 2024 game silent hill 2 remake also is looking to be a 2024 game and i mean it's a remaster of the iconic game you know silent hill 2 is one of the most loved survival horror games of all time it'll be interesting to see if they change up the story to try and surprise people but i'm super looking forward to this game i think this is a really good idea you know a lot of those ps1 era games and ps2 era games they haven't really they haven't really aged all that gracefully so to see silent hill 2 getting a remake i think that's going to be super awesome i do hope they change some stuff up though we got to keep some fog man you got that fog was originally done because you know systems weren't able to handle stuff back then but in this game we kind of need it because of the atmosphere so hopefully this game is a 2024 release and the final game that some people think could be a 2024 game and i'll just include it in the list just for the hell of it wolverine what is wolverine i don't know we haven't really seen the game the dude props up to a bar and then that's it insomniac much like square enix holding up that playstation exclusive brand when it comes to ps5 games i i'm interested to see what this is i hope this is an adult sort of take on it i hope that it's a, a violent and graphic i want this to be an m-rated game not just because you know it's like oh cool you know m rated but because i feel like that's what this game needs i feel like that's what this game deserves to have so you know silent or wolverine i'm hopeful for this game i want it to be gory i want it to be over the top i don't even think it needs to be an open world game i think it should just be like a linear game but 2024 hopefully for this game maybe a holiday release of course we also have all of the goodies coming to us from third party companies yearly entries of games wwe 2k24 is something i'm looking forward to could grand theft auto 6 come out this year you know who knows but it seems like a lot of companies are kind of holding back release dates a bit more just because you know of the uncertainty of the marketplace but if these are the only games that end up coming out in 2024 like shit that's still a really really good year so let me know what you think of these games in the comments section down below what games you plan on picking up what games i might have missed out on i know i missed a few rpgs here and there some of the third party games we talked about on the switch video such as tomb raider one two and three remastered so i didn't really and prince of persia i didn't really want to retread those games since i already talked about them so make sure you check out the switch games list after you watch this video and let me know your feedback in the comments section down below and as always guys thank you for checking out this video a huge huge thank you to backbone for sponsoring today's video as well check out the link in the description box down below so you can play all of your playstation 5 games in the palm of your hand and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later